Hey guys, it's Drew here. Today I'm going to talk about troubleshooting uh, your vacuum if uh, if it just shuts off while you're vacuuming. So I was vacuuming for like an hour last night. Uh, hadn't done it in a while. My house is kind of dirty. And all of a sudden the vacuum just shut off. Uh, I checked the outlet. Uh, plugged into another outlet. Still wasn't working. So um, I, I figured out, obviously, you know, you're not going to throw this vacuum out. I was thinking, hey, could it be like a fuse in the vacuum or anything like that? Well, uh, this is a Hoover um, wind tunnel, two channels. I got it about maybe four or five years ago, five years ago maybe. It's bagless. I got it at Walmart or Target, can't remember which one. It was like 100 bucks, 109 bucks. So check this out, all right? Um, basically what happened is the motor overheated uh, while I was vacuuming. So I guess I was just doing too much vacuuming or, I don't know, it's a cheap motor. So it got hot, and when it gets hot, I guess it shuts itself down. It didn't blow a fuse or anything like that in the vacuum. So um, I want to recommend to you guys, if you're vacuuming and your vacuum just shuts off, not making a noise, not like you you ran over something, if it just shuts off out of nowhere, first thing you want to do is try to plug it into another plug in the house. Uh, if you still got lights on in your house, things like that, um, try that. And if that doesn't work, then let your vacuum sit for, you know, 10 or 12 hours or even a couple hours. Let it cool down and then plug it in and try it again. Because uh, lo and behold, today this vacuum's working great. It turns on. Let's see here. There it goes. All right. Nobody likes the sound of a vacuum, and that's going to scare the crap out of your dog, so I won't play it on too long. Anyway, this is Drew, guys. I just wanted to tell you that uh, instead of taking your sh vacuum to the shop right away, give it a little bit of time if it shuts off while you're vacuuming. If you know you haven't swallowed something while you're vacuuming, like, of course, if you hear a horrendous sound and a smell of burning sound, then you may have to, uh, or burning, you know, smell, you may have to shut your vacuum off and take it to a shop. But uh, anyway, guys, hope this helped. Uh, this is Drew. Um, subscribe to my channel. Uh, like this video and uh, you know like I said I'll have a lot of more stuff stuff breaks every single day in my house and uh, <laughs> I keep making videos on it and hopefully it'll help you have a good one guys this is Drew thanks